do then is keep pushing toward the west to take the whole North American continent. So you intend to get rid of the Spanish? They are purely transitory. This is the settlers' home. It is natural for them to want to develop their nation to become one of the greatest powers of this world. Nein. As for the Spanish, there are just a handful of them actually on site. And if need be, we'll see to it that they are sufficiently occupied in Europe so that their focus is not on the North American continent. Moreover, Spain really only cares about its colonies in South America. It's hardly my fault if they are not capable of seeing the potential in the North American territories. The concept of royalty is from bygone times. It is time to lead the way to democracy. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Blast it, Mother. You didn't know about everything. This project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? Ich stimme überall dagegen. My friends, Egal was sie planen. <lacht> Scheiße. Hätte ich mal mit denen nicht als erstes gequatscht. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet, who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur I de Richet. I hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The Order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about a king of divine blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. Um, bitte ein herzlichen Empfang mit Dampok. Zu Recht. Um, Thank you all. I am honored to be among you today. I will strive to represent the interests of the order as best I can. Auffallen. Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. <coughs> I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer, I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, 
Since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? But I, oh, I do not Water. understand. <laughs> there is one more territory left to conquer, if I am not mistaken, in the northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Indianer sind keine Wilden. Duke, these savages, as you call them, were there before you. They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet, that does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So you keep your morals to yourself, if you please. Senor, I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject, which we shall resolve at a future date. Ah, dieses dreckige Schwein. Sklava. Wie kommt er das? Das wird zu einem Spieler. Provozieren. Treibt bald keinen Sklaven im Handel mehr. Hm. In provozieren. France is not without fault, but that doesn't take away Spain's responsibilities. You see. Native Americans are being subjected to a veritable ethnic cleansing. Europeans are colonizing their land so that it then belongs to them. The widespread evangelization of its inhabitants will soon eradicate a multitude of cultures. You've done the same thing in South America. How far will white people go? Reservations to pin them in like cattle? Total genocide? Come now, my friends. Let us not digress. Anyway. And these primitive people had no souls, Louis. We bring the good word to them in order to <laughs> save them. You'll see. Colonization brings with it many benefits, too. Uh, excuse me, if you don't mind, Your Eminence, uh, I shall continue. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protege. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? Dear neighbors, Duke Manuel, remember, your main rival in Europe is more likely to be England, who is plowing the seas right up your coastline. Hand over Louisiana to France and make her a prime ally. Come, Louis. Spain and Great Britain are already allies and have nothing to gain by breaking their alliance. Even if I do agree, Duchess, the omnipresence of the English fleet in Atlantic waters does not particularly please me. I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? 
Oh, shit, shit, shit. Das ist kostenlos. Gibt's meine Regal sein? Frankreich wird die Christen beschützen. Your eminence, have no fear over that. I am sure France will do everything in its power to protect the Christians of Louisiana. My young friend, how can you come out with such a remark after the discussion we had on the uh, evening of your arrival? If France was so respectful of worship, it would not be bleeding priests as it is doing at this very moment in time. <sighs> Don't be naive. This is politics. The Holy See must be concerned at seeing such a large territory falling into the hands of the French. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. Ich habe kein Wort verstanden. I hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It looks like I won't be just making friends here. In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sich reinen, Emily. Nie Preußen wird diese Vereinbarung akzeptieren. War das Deutsch? <lacht> okay. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mordor's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are great times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. <sighs> Home, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare Gentlemen, you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project Follow me. What soll das? Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? At the risk of displeasing you, my lord, I'd rather follow Sir Gregory. I don't think this is a place for the order. Louis? No. Let him go, Mr. President. Everyone is free to choose. Hmm. Ich weiß nicht, ob das gut war. How can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, he'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. He knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? Yeah, das frage ich mich auch. Keine Ahnung. Shortly find out, so let's take the lead. What do you mean by that? His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, Duke Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says. Whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. Krieg. If war is what you want, war is what you get. On your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with France. 
What do you expect from the Pagan States, Sir Gregor? What do you think? That they hold a mass? They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't Spanien understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, politically, and financially. And I? And me, Sir Gregory? How can I help? Louis, you have won my trust. The order will have to act in France. But even before that, I'm going to need you. Right here and right now. Leave me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Let's meet early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference, which promises to be most exciting. Uh, Louis, I'd like to see you a moment, please. Yeah, okay. Then I'll come with you. Thank you for me today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me counter Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. He needs our votes. Now you leave that to me. In the meantime. I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me and join us. Do you really think that I'll be able to convince him? I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I have total faith in you. He likes you, and thus he won't see you coming. You must be careful, though. If he senses that you are trying to manipulate him, he'll dig in his heels. Louis, Use every means at your disposal. If Washington drops Mortimer, his defeat will be complete. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. Bam. So. Okay, endlich mal wieder ein bisschen Ruhe hier. Chronicles of the Amber Princess. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. So, George Washington to überzeugen. Gibt's wohl nichts Neues, oder? All right, I've retrieved everything. Gold Alexia. Klavier, Harfe. ich mich jetzt echt um Politik kümmern. Ne? Das kotzt mich ja jetzt schon an. Schaut aus, als müssten wir zu Washingtons Zimmer. Ach genau. Der Speisesaal mit den Mega äh, mit der Mega Aussicht. Waldschmetterlinge. Das sind doch Monarchenfalter. Hier runterspringen. Was mache ich hier? Da ist der Steg. Na gut, zurück. Ich glaube, ich müsste mal 
so washing. Weil normal ist das das letzte, wo ich hingehen würde jetzt. What can I do for you, sir? Ähm. I am at your service day and night, sir. Post Washington. Would you happen to know where I could find Monsieur Washington? Sorry, sir, I haven't the phoneus. Perhaps sir, I ought to try in President Washington's room? Hm. Ich mir schon gedacht. Dann mal Treppe hoch. Da drüben lagen gerade Äpfel rum. Was ist hier los? Hey, Peru's name tag's fallen off. And his door's ajar. Okay, dann schauen wir mal hier rein. Äh, wie sieht's denn hier aus? Hallo? The Massacre of the Innocents by Rubens. A bit gloomy. I guess my room is not that bad. Keine Ahnung, ob es in dem Raum schon mal war. Nice decor for a revolutionary tribunal judge's room. Was steht da? Meine liebe Eleanor, ich schreibe dir, um dich an meinen ruhigen Gedanken teilhaben zu lassen. Ich kann nicht in Worte fassen, wie sehr ich dich vermisse und wie sehr ich es bereue, nicht bei dir zu sein. Doch ich weiß, dass du tugendhaft, tapfer und sicher bei deiner Schwester Marie Helen bist. Meine Fehler werde ich zwar nie wieder gut machen können, aber nun weiß ich, wie ich dich vor den Konsequenzen meiner Tat beschützen kann. Egal was ich, äh, egal was geschehen mag, zweifle niemals an meiner Liebe und Hingabe zu dir. Du musst mir glauben, dass ab jetzt alles besser werden wird. Ich werde dich beschützen, ganz gleich welchen Preis ich dafür zahlen muss. Bleibe du stets nur ruhig und gelassen. In ewiger Liebe dein stets stolzer Vater. Hm. Und dann schauen wir mal. Bestimmt den Toten, oder? Werden wir einen Toten finden mit dem Stiefel? Nichts. Sack. Badewanne. Kann ich hier zum Fenster raus? Oh, da. 